Well, today is an awesome day because we have prepped this bus right here to be painted. Actually, given this bus by a lady who worked for the school corporation, we're going to get it all painted up. We can't have it uh, school bus yellow because that would be illegal. And so it has to be some different color. So we're going to paint it white. We're going to leave the black stripe that and uh, turn this into a, a church bus, pick up some kids for Jesus. Amen. And so we're pretty much ready. I need to go over now. We spent all day yesterday uh, prepping this thing. Really, it's been about a week prepping it. But yesterday, had some help and uh, spent yesterday taping it up. Got a couple spots ready. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and uh, prime a couple of those spots that are just uh, raw metal. We've already wiped the entire bus down with, uh, this is denatured alcohol. We've already done this, but I just went ahead and roughed up this spot because we decided to go ahead and paint it white and it was uh, still glossy. So if you're gonna paint, you can see all that, that uh, black paint there roughed up. You need to have a surface that's not exactly smooth. You need to knock the gloss off. And so I've done that. Um, and so now I need to clean it real good because for paint to stick, it just needs a good clean surface. I had wipe down the larger spots on the majority of the bus because we're putting tape and all that on there. You do uh, touch the bus and you really can't have any of your hand oils on the uh, bus. The paint doesn't like it, doesn't stick real great if that happens. You can see even when this dries that that is no longer glossy and uh, that's what we want. Nice dull surface so that we can uh, get some good paint adhesion. To We're going to go ahead and prime the uh, bare spots got some bare spots here from when we were prepping the bus, had some issues, and had to uh, sand those down and all the way to bare metal. So what's interesting, we're using this uh, Rust-Oleum Farm implement paint, and uh, we could go a whole lot better paint with that. What I found is, is that this paint is great, and uh, it covers well, does well, so we're just going to stick with it. But this is the, just the, uh, the primer. I want to show you something that on, on a paint can, you'll notice that there is a little black mark there. You just want to direct your spray so that it's spraying towards that black mark. That's that's how these uh, paint companies make their spray cans. Uh, we're actually going to use a professional sprayer to spray the bus, but uh, for the uh, just a real quick touch up on the bare spots, we're just going to use a little can of uh, handheld spray paint. You're spraying just a quick primer coat. All you're trying to do is cover it. You're not trying to cover it real, real heavy. You just want to get a little bit on there for adhesion purpose for the main thing. All right. Well, we are using this Rust-Oleum Farm and Implement Paint. Found that to be a really good solution for painting a bus uh, instead of a two-part, just a one-part. And it says that it can be thinned up to 5% using mineral spirits. 5% of this gallon would be 6.4 ounces. And so because we are spraying it, we're just gonna go ahead and thin it to that. So we've got our mineral spirits here and mix right here. We're gonna go 6.4 ounces. We got the four there, the eight there. Not exact science, but we will be relatively close. Aim for about six ounces here. Let's see, a little four. Don't hold all that great, that's for sure. All right, that looks like about six right there. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and pour that on in there. And uh, this uh, the paint stirrer, we're gonna go ahead and stir it up. Now, we do want to filter this. Anytime you're spraying, if you don't filter, you'll get a little goober in there and that goober will load up your paint sprayer and just no fun. Around to the side here and see if that'll hold. So 
actually pouring through pretty well. So to see that. That's good. While we're getting the paint sprayer ready, we'll go ahead and cover up this guy as well. All right, now the paint sprayer, we want to go ahead and run some mineral spirits through it. It's been um, a little while since I've used this paint sprayer, so see I painted red last time. Actually it was red on a bus, I believe. Good little bit in there because I'll make sure that I get this thing definitely gone through. I clean this when I put it away, so I should not have to take this apart. I'm gonna try not to. So let's go ahead and get our air compressor, our air compressor going over here. All right, on our air compressor, we're gonna use a uh, water separator as well as a reg another regulator so I can better control how much air I have going to my gun, how much pressure. So right now, it's like we're running oh, about 75 PSI. Let's try that out. Let's see if it likes 75 PSI. All right, got a box here. I'll just see what it looks like. Well. Yeah, pretty good pattern there. So we'll just uh, I'll watch that for a second. See my wind's heading. Actually, I'm heading towards the bus here, so that'll be good. All right. So I like how I'm looking. I think it's getting a little low in there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get uh, this cleaned out and then put some paint in it and uh, we'll flip that box around and we're going to test our, our paint spray on the box because uh, we want to make sure that when we go to hit that bus that we're ready. Painting a bus, it's not like painting a really nice car or something. You're just trying to make it look decent and uh, get a good, good coat of paint on it and you know, put some good letters on there, things like that. So this is our already uh, strained paint and we're going to go ahead and pour that into our container. I've already dumped the excess mineral spirits out. All right, went ahead and filled that. Oh, probably about a little past three quarter, almost like seven eighths full. Uh, so we got that. Put uh, that back over outside. We don't want debris finding its way into our bucket. So. Loosen that, and that, got that. All right. Let's uh, let's go ahead and see what kind of pattern we got on our box here. Like I said, we were running seventy-five. I think that'll be a good pressure. Let's see what we got here. That is a little bit thin, so we're going to make a couple of adjustments. Let's see how we got. Not a real broad fan. It's red there, so. I think. Yeah. I think we're going to try that. So, I'd like to get a little more flow out of it, but the thickness, the viscosity of the paint, and everything goes into this. So, we'll uh, give it a shot and see what it looks like. I'm going to put uh, these thinner gloves on just because you will get wet on this ride a little bit. I'm not going to wear a bunny suit unless I have to because. Kind of warm out today, and uh, 
you know, I'm already going to sweat. I don't need to help that out if I don't have to. So if I was in a house, I'd definitely wear a bunny suit. In a house, painting a house, not painting a bus. Kind of hard to paint a bus in a house, but anywho. All right, throw the respirator on. Just because paint and lungs, no good. All right, here we go. So two coats on the bus, it is definitely still wet, especially over here. Um, it's kind of warm out. I hope that that doesn't affect the finish, but it does look really good. Um, over here still 
it's uh, in the stages of drying, so not glossy yet. I hope that it does go gloss, at least a partial gloss. Matt would probably be okay too, matte finish, but trying to get that gloss look to it. So anyway, pretty fun. I uh, literally think I have I have less than three hundred dollars in all the materials to uh, to paint this bus. Well, this is an exciting day. We get to unwrap the bus, and uh, we're gonna see how it looks with the colors underneath. Nice white bus right now. It's fixing to have some color added very quickly. Let's go ahead and start ripping this off. Let's see. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, here is the finished product of the bus, and uh, pretty excited. That looks so absolutely good. And uh, probably could touch up some of the black now that we had covered up. But uh, man, it looks good. You gotta do, get the windows washed, get the lettering on it. Man, it looks just absolutely amazing. That white with the black accent just totally pops with the tinted windows. So excited. Look at that. Look at that. Man, it's awesome. I sure do appreciate all the help that we have on this project. And uh, $300, $300 total cost to, uh, to sand, to mask off, to fix all the different issues and to paint. So can't go wrong with that. 300 bucks. Hallelujah.